Hey everyone, welcome back to my video. In today's video, I'm gonna be finally talking about the wedding. I got married in September of 2021 and yeah, I just, I wanna share my life with you all. So I'm gonna be talking about how everything went and the planning and all of that. So first let's start with my vision. My vision for the wedding was I wanted to do a lot of do it yourself. Uh, I really like crafting and I got a Cricut so I wanted to make table numbers and signs, cut all of the tablecloths. We got a venue that was really do it yourself um, and it had like a rustic vibe to it and it was great. It was perfect because we could have the ceremony and the reception all in one place. And it was also pretty budget friendly, um, but as you know, weddings are pretty expensive. So we'll be talking about the wedding budget in a couple weeks. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe or hit the notification button. Overall, it was pretty stressful planning a wedding. Uh, not gonna lie, I was very involved because Essentially, I was the planner up until the day of. We did have a day of coordinator, which was very helpful. Highly recommend that if you are getting married. <laughs> Wedding day was great. I did not sleep good the night before though, which I'm sure is pretty common. We went to the hotel pretty early and started getting ready. We had, everyone had their makeup done and got hair done. Um, and we just hung out at Red Rock Casino and the guys were at Rampart. If you live in Las Vegas, you know what I'm talking about. So that's how our day started off. We did some food and mimosas and it was just a great time. And I got to do a first look not only with my bridesmaids, but with my dad as well. So memories I will definitely cherish for a very long time. Dave and I actually did a first look, so we opted to do that. And I wanted to do this because not only is it less stressful for the schedule, but I got to have extra moments with him alone as well. Uh, and to me, this is important because on your big day, you wanna make sure that you are spending time with your future husband, wife, life partner. I'm glad that we did this because then I got to enjoy moments before everything started and the craziness and just seeing all the family and friends. The ceremony ended up being beautiful. I actually almost passed out beforehand when we were taking pictures. Um, I think just everything, the stress, not sleeping much, and then we did do quite a walk for our pictures. It was just all too much. <laughs> so that was, was probably the only uh, not great thing about the wedding. I wish I would have felt a little better, um, but I ended up being okay, I made it through, I was able to enjoy myself, so that's all that matters. The ceremony was beautiful, it was a sign that the venue had, and I um, DIY'd the flowers that were there. It was just a beautiful time, and I really did enjoy the ceremony, our officiant did a great job, uh, and I was very emotional, I was trying not to cry as I walked down the aisle. Um, it, was, it was a great moment, I really enjoyed it. And then afterwards, we got to essentially eat and party, and that's the best part, right? So uh, overall, I think everyone had a great time. We had a lot of dancing. Like when I say a lot of dancing, I mean a lot of dancing. Um, and we originally did plan, because COVID is still obviously going on, um, I believe over 90% of our guests were vaccinated, so that was important to us. Um, we did have masks on during the ceremony, but as the night went on, that kind of fell off. <laughs> um, but yeah, we did get a little crazy, but luckily no one reported having COVID after the wedding. So I think we did overall a pretty good job. Hand sanitizer on deck, but luckily it wasn't a huge surge time. So it worked out because it is very stressful being a COVID bride, I will tell you that. I really loved all of our vendors that we did use. I will list them below. So if you are in Vegas, here's some recommendations because my team did a great job and I couldn't have asked for a better day. It turned out amazing. The only other thing I'm gonna mention in this video is that we did reschedule our honeymoon. We were supposed to go to Hawaii, but Hawaii was pretty crazy at that time. So I wanted to reschedule that. 
and we moved it to March of this year, 2022. Uh, we'll see, hopefully things work out because we kind of can't reschedule at this point, but you know, I'm, I'm just fingers crossed that everything will work out and we'll be good. Um, but we did do a small mini honeymoon to San Diego right after the wedding. Um, we had a great time. It was really beautiful and nice to just get away and, you know, be husband and wife and enjoy our time together. I'm going to go ahead and put a little montage of that now. post this but I hope you all enjoyed seeing some clips from the wedding and the honeymoon the mini honeymoon uh, and I am excited to be back on this platform I hope you're looking forward to next week's videos and don't forget to like the video subscribe and hit that notification button so I can see you next time all right bye